If you wish to start a business but can't come up with a business idea, wish to start a book, make a piece of music or create a video, but lack a good idea, it's often because you don't know that ideas are like land. It was Monday, 28 February 2022. The animals on Mr. Andre's farm have not eaten for three days. They desperately need food, just as you may need ideas now. Located in Rakhiv, a western city of Ukraine, since the 24th of February when Russia invaded Ukraine, Mr. Andre had not been able to send food to his farm. Taras, the farm attendant who tried to take some food to the farm on the 25th, had run back when he saw a gun exchange between Russian and Ukrainian soldiers. Now, the animals were hungry and angry. The goat was the first to wake up this morning, bleating so loud as if to get a message across to Mr. Andre, who is 13 kilometers away. For Slot, such noise as the goat makes was offensive, since she is still sleeping, but she could understand that every animal on the farm is hungry, and if nobody shouts as the goat does, they'll all starve. Instead of getting angry for waking her up, Slot came up with an idea. What if she could persuade the cow, the horse, and the pig to make as much noise as the goat is making? If we can make so much noise, Slot told the rest of the animals, we can remind Mr. Andre that he hasn't brought food to us for three days. Do you think Mr. Andre purposely forgot all of us here? Asked the horse. Maybe something bad had happened to him, the cow said. None of you has any insight, the pig authoritatively said. Don't you have ears to hear or eyes to see? He continues his insult. For five days now, I've been hearing loud noises from the city every hour of the day. It seems to me that all the mountains of heaven are falling on the Rakhiv city, and it's a matter of time before one will drop on us as well. The mountains the pig was talking about are the Russian bombs against the city of Rakhiv. I also saw big birds. Not like me, but as the size of the whole world, running to and fro in the sky, the eagle said. Such mysterious birds have always been seen by us little birds in the time past, but they were never as common as we have been seen in the last five days, the eagle continues. What makes it even fearful is that sometimes these birds fall from the sky. I mean, how can they fall if they're as big as the whole world, the eagle asked. The fallen birds the eagle described are the warplanes of Russia when hit by Ukrainian anti-aircraft missiles. The date was 4th March 2022. It's been seven days since Mr. Andre brought food to the farm. All of the animals are desperately hungry. Some have resulted into searching the farm area for the leftovers, while some drank more water to remain alive. Meeting again to discuss the way out of the predicament, Fellow animals, do you observe what I'm observing on this farm since this evil befell us? The cow asked. Can you notice that Cat was never in any of our meetings, never complained about hunger and in fact, he seems to have gained weight while all of us are starving. I've been noticing that for over two weeks now, the pig said, since he always tries to prove that he is wiser than everyone. How can you notice that Cat has enough food two weeks ago, when in fact everyone on the farm had enough food eight days ago? The horse asked the arrogant pig. Your argument is useless, Slot said as though she was already dying. What matters now is to invite Cat to this meeting and ask where she is getting fruit from, Slot concluded. It's possible Mr. Andrew gives all of our food to the cat, the doc said. You can't know until we ask, the eagle said. While still in the meeting, Slot was asked to go and call the cat. Like a rich animal, Cat was found having a nap. Her house was filled with enough to eat and even some rotten foods she wasn't able to finish in the previous days. How come you have more than enough when we all are starving? The pig asked the cat at the meeting. Well, it's a blessing from God, the cat answered. God? How come God smiles on you alone among all of the animals? The eagle angrily asked. Or maybe it's because I have a unique superpower brain, the cat said. This particular statement infuriated the pig. Since past experiences have shown that the pig is the wisest of all the animals on the farm, he had become the self-imposed leader of the farm. How dare you think you're wiser than me, the pig angrily asked the cat. Well, I have food and you don't, cat answered as she left their meeting. 
After cats angrily left their meeting, other animals started suggesting the possible solutions to their hunger problem. The goat suggested that they should kill cat and take all her food, but the cow reminded them that they could only eat all cat's food for lunch and they'll be hungry again. If we must survive, Eagle said, we have to know how Cat is getting her food. After three hours of argument and deliberation, all the animals agreed on a strategy. They needed someone to spy on Cat, someone who could monitor every of Cat's movements. The horse immediately volunteered for this work. Since I sleep only three hours a day, he said, I'm the best spy among all of us, the horse concluded. Pig doesn't like horse since he often challenges his authority and luckily for him, he remembered that Doc can keep one of his eyes opened even while still sleeping. It's since Doc has the ability to open one of his eyes while sleeping, all the animals then voted in support of Doc as the spy. Without wasting time, Doc immediately relocated near Cat's house and on that very night at exactly 1 a.m. when every animal is presumably asleep, Cat slowly opened her door walked gently towards the gate and jumped off the gate. Three hours later, Cat came back the exact way she went, except that this time she returned with her head full of food. Doc saw all of this with one eye and quickly reported to the other animals in the morning. Everybody is furious. Could it be that Cat goes out at night to collect food from Mr. Andre? How can she do that? How can she betray her fellow animals? Cat was invited and questioned and this time around, Cat was willing to tell the rest of the animals what her secret was. It's in fact not a secret. Cat wakes up in the middle of the night when all the animals and humans are already sleeping, slinks into people's houses and steals food. It's that simple. Cat is a thief. She has so much food because she steals every day. Now that all the animals know Cat's secret, we can only hope they'll all learn how to steal. The animals in the above story represent all of us humans. Food represents ideas that we all need every day to start a business, market our products, write a book, make music, create artwork or invent a new thing. The animal's attitude towards the lack of food represents a normal human's attitude towards ideas. Just as animals were expecting Mr. Andre to bring their food, we often think that ideas come from heaven or some spirit should deliver them into our minds. But we're wrong. The smart men among us don't wait for the idea to come to them. They're like the cat in my story. They go out there and steal them. If you get to a point in your life and your brain stops generating new ideas to create whatever you've chosen to create, it's almost always because you're not stealing enough. You have to understand this. The work of an artist is to steal. The work of an entrepreneur, a creator, or even a scientist is to study what others have done and steal from them. Ideas are like land. Nobody owns land, everybody steals it. On page 5 of his 2012 book, Steal Like an Artist, Austin Kleon wrote and I quote, Every artist gets asked, where do you get your ideas? The honest artist answers, I steal them. Nothing is completely original. All creative work builds on what came before. Every new idea is just a remix or a mashup of one or two previous ideas. Let me give you an example. In the year 1546, Pope Paul III invited the Italian sculptor Michelangelo to take over the project of St. Peter's Basilica. What the 71-year-old Michelangelo did was simple. He stole from Filippo Brunelleschi's previous work called Cupola of Duomo which has been built 110 years earlier. Another example, born in 1795 when John Keats decided to become a poet, what he did was to read all the works of all the greatest poets of the 17th and 18th century. By stealing from their works, he wrote Endymion in the year 1818. Another example, the Beatles are one of the most successful musical bands of all time, but guess how they got their inspiration? By stealing. When they were accused of stealing from other people's work, John Lennon, one of the band's members, said, It wasn't a rip-off, it was a love-in. Paul McCartney said, We pinch as much from other people as they pinch from us. Well, you got that idea from where? Well, some of it came from that Edgar Allan Poe story, William Wilson. The concept I'm teaching in this video is this, Ideas don't come from heaven, 
Whether you need a new business idea, a new book idea, idea for a musical track or an idea for a new scientific invention, your work is to expose yourself to wonderful things other people have created. It comes down to trying to expose yourself to the best things that humans have done and then try to bring those things in to what you're doing. I mean, Picasso had a saying, he said, good artists copy, great artists steal. If you consume many great things other people have created in your field, you will never lack good ideas. We have, you know, always uh, been shameless about stealing great ideas. In his 1996 book, England, England, Julian Barnes wrote, most people, in my opinion, steal much of what they are. If they didn't, what poor items they would be. Let's say you are a writer. Well, the only reason you'll ever lack good ideas is if you don't read enough. Let's say you wake up one Tuesday morning and experience writer's block. Well, pick up a book and read one chapter. Read two or three blog posts and watch educational YouTube videos. Before you know it, you have three ideas. An artist's job is to collect ideas, and the best way I know to collect ideas is to read. Let's say you need a business idea to start a business. Read business biographies. Study different business models. Understand how different businesses make money. Pay attention to what different people are doing in the industry you're interested in. And suddenly, you'll have some good ideas. If you want to learn more about how this process works, I recommend you watch the video on your screen now. The video on your screen now shows you how to be creative and how the most creative people in our world come up with revolutionary ideas. Click the video on your screen now and see you inside.